you know it's gonna be a good day when you start out with one extra projectile. And since that literally doubled my damage, I'm also gonna give myself plus 15% attack speed. That's all gonna give me the extra bit of confidence I definitely didn't need, but we have double damage. And good news, our very first upgrade is an additional projectile. We do lose a little bit of damage off the top, but we're now doing 15 damage per shot instead of the original 6, or I suppose 12 in this case. 3 bullets every time we fire, so anytime we get a chance on hit like Chain Lightning, this is going to be a good one. 25% chance to spawn 2 Lightning. I feel like this is going to turn into a giant math calculation today. All we need to know is we now have 10% increased attack speed. We're now attacking very, very quickly. We're firing three bullets at a time and firing lightning. So on top of that, we're going to add an extra 10% crit chance and extra crit damage. And then my initial attack has a 25% chance to chain up to one enemy. And again, anytime we have something like a 25% chance, that's 25 times three because we fire three bullets. Now we have a 25% chance to spawn three lightnings. That's a lot of lightning, which otherwise just means a lot of dead balls. Now we're going to have a 50% chance to have up to two enemies chain damage. We're getting a lot of these nice chain effects, so the AoE is really there. If we can just keep stacking this up and add like a 1000% attack speed or maybe 2000% damage, then I feel confident. Let's increase my damage by 15%, that's going to put us at 5.5 per bullet. And it's kind enough that it's rounded up to 6 for us, but that actually adds quite a bit of damage. There's two good ones here. This one's gold, which I do enjoy, but we're going to get essence of whatever. 5% chance to conjure a meteorite, dealing 12 damage. Given how many bullets we're firing and stuff going on, that's going to be a lot of meteorites. So we can hopefully just rain those down on bosses, so we don't have to try anymore. Just kidding, I'm not trying that hard right now. We now also have a 25% chance to spawn 4 lightnings, dealing that much damage, and a 50% chance to spark 1 lightning strike, dealing 9 damage. That's a lot of lightning. That's going to be really bad for them and really good for us. I think this is going to be a really good build for chance on hit things because we're already firing a lot of bullets and already have a lot of chance on hits. So we got to keep stacking those up. Like this, your initial attack has a 75% chance to chain up to three enemies. So that's just going to bounce around and cause more chance on hits as well too, I believe. Then I think I actually want to take the Dizzy Ball because it circles me and shoots dealing 3.45 damage. It's not the damage I want, it's kind of the attack speed, because it's just constantly attacking things, and I'm pretty sure that also gives a chance on hit. And even if it doesn't, at least I have a friend. I think we're already maxing out this one. Your initial attack is a 100% chance to chain up to 4 enemies. And I'm pretty sure that also means chance on hit, but we're going to test that against the boss here. So we'll get close and we'll rain some- wow, that's actually working well, because we're raining a few meteorites down. Miss me. And we got a nice gold upgrade here. We could have got 4 times something. We got 2 times gumball. Sonic Howl. Every 70.75 seconds we deal a little damage. But we also just had a health bar idiot spawn in, so that's perfect because we'll get more upgrades off him. Hopefully a better one. So we're going to- wow, we're actually really strong against a singular enemy. This is also a gold 4 times 10% AoE. That could have been damage. I guess we'll get attacks have a 1.5% chance to enter a frenzy, so while we do that we do extra damage and movement speed. That one might actually be really really strong because our chain attack should count as attack, so we might actually- yeah, we're already in a frenzy. So that might be great. And even if it's not, we're still raining meteorites on idiots constantly. Like I'm almost having trouble finding enough idiots to kill at this point. We're actually going to upgrade that again because we got a rare upgrade. Attacks now have 3% chance to make us enter a frenzy, so we now do 6 extra damage and 20% speed. So if that's going off on, uh, constantly, which I think it will be, that's just going to be a constant super buff for us. And I think that's constantly going to uh, chain off itself, because the extra attack speed and whatever it gives us means it triggers again and again and again. Your initial attack is 100% chance to chain up to 5 enemies, dealing 6 damage and an additional 2 for each additional enemy, so that's extra 12 extra damage by the time it hits the last idiot. And that's just going to cause a nice chain reaction that's going to help clear some space and get me lots of experience with putting in very little effort. It turns out this might not have a cap. I thought it was max level, but we can actually make it higher. We can chain up to six enemies, dealing extra damage, three enemy, uh, three damage for each additional enemy. We're going to take that. Uh, because so far that's really working for us because it just chains and destroys absolutely everything so far. Probably because we have so many going off at any one time. Again, because we fire three bullets at a time. These don't even penetrate yet. This is just boring basic bullets that are low damage. These are all really, really good. I think for now I'm actually just going to take an extra 10% attack speed because the faster we can get all these effects going off the better, but those are all great upgrades. Next we're going to take you another 15% attack speed. I could have got another dizzy ball which should also be good, but attack speed's probably slightly better at this point because look at all those bullets going out, look at all the chain reactions. At this point I'm not even sure if I've gotten hurt yet, I don't think I have. But enemies are having a lot of trouble getting close to me. They just explode in a giant chain reaction of violence. I really like stacking all of these up. 
I'm going to go uh, exponential chain again because it's just going to be an exponential chain and now it goes to eight enemies. So eventually I might loop back around to the original idiot if they're strong enough to take two hits. Probably going to need to get my base damage a little higher though too. That way uh, that damage really stacks up by the end of its chain. But I guess the longer it goes, the more damage it does anyway, so I can't really complain. There we go, two dizzy balls that shoot extra damage. So now they're both going to be going out, hopefully causing chance on hits and meteors and all sorts of things. So far I think it's working. It's a little bit hard to tell. Either way, things are dying, we're happy. This is interesting. Two dizzy balls dealing damage, you have a 30% chance of ricocheting. So I like that. That should be an extra hit, I think, an extra chance on hit and everything else that goes with that. That's definitely working so far. Everything is just melting. I've never had a build this strong this early. And we're getting some really good luck for our drops. I also just took projectiles have an extra one damage. That puts us up to 6.5 per bullet. The more we can get our base damage up, the more that exponential chain is going to uh, pay, pay off for us. It's already really, really strong, but let's make it all the stronger. Like, I want that chain to go off an enemy to the whole map that is wiped in an instant. That's what I want. And I'm pretty confident we can get ourselves there. It just takes a little bit of upgrades and luck. Like increase your damage by another 20%? Absolutely. So now our base damage is up to 7.5. So that means our initial shot goes and then all the chain reactions get stronger and stronger as they go. And now our chain is going to hit up to 9 idiots, dealing 7 damage and an additional 3 per shot. So 7 plus 21 is going to be 28 extra damage by the time it hits the last one. So that's a lot of damage and that's going to go off a lot. Moomsa just showed up. Uh, Moomsa died in an absolute instant. That was wild. 2 times 15% crit chance, that's mm, fine, I'll take that. Our crit chance is actually at about 50%, so given all the bullets and ricocheting going off, we're doing tons of crits, but we saw how quick the boss melted. Which brings us to the pink world, where enemies are going to be a little bit stronger, but I'm pretty sure our chain reactions are stronger than them. Once it gets going off, yeah, we can absolutely just melt them. Gonna have to do a little bit of moving, but we'll keep stacking up extra damage and all sorts of fun little perks. Is this a bug? Am I supposed to keep getting this? We now have 10 enemy chain. So we're getting an additional 70 damage by the end. And it goes off 100% of the time, so off my three bullets, it's just doing a colossal amount of damage. But our DPS is in the thousands already. And especially against these weak little guys, like the chain reaction is absolutely going to destroy them. The point where this is probably going to start to lag the game sooner than later. And I'm excited for that. I wonder if any chance on hits can also go off the chain reaction. I would assume they can, which is good because now we're constantly doing all sorts of uh, chance on hits. Like it's constantly going off. Look at all that nice little experience we left lying on the ground. We'll see if we can get in there in a second. It's hard because some of those enemies explode when they die and they'll hit me. I'm going to do all projectiles do an additional 2 bonus damage. That puts us up to 8.5 per shot. I still need that initial damage to keep going up. Just so that when we deal with guys like that, they can die in the first shot rather than the last. Because that's going to be important for my safety. We know whatever gets hit by the last shot of the ricochets is probably going to die. But the first one, they're going to be the ones closest to me. I need them to die soon. Okay, we're going to do one extra damage per projectile because that actually adds, uh, well, with firing three projectiles so far times a bunch. These guys are where it's going to start to get difficult too because they're going to be a lot tougher. We're still melting them which is a good sign and we got a boss spawning in somewhere. He's down here we'll see how quick we can get him uh whoops melted out we're not going to get too close but his health is dropping quickly the meteorites are helping chain reaction we got a gold upgrade. 3 times 20 AoE radius. That's not the luckiest one in the world I'm not sure why well, our meteors certainly count as AoE because they're getting huge. Straight up damage would have been much better but I'm not going to complain with any free upgrade. Getting a little bit surrounded here, but we're going to be fine. Lots of good ones here. Let's actually add 10% chance to conjure a hailstorm with uh, 3, 5, dealing 11 damage each. That's actually a lot of extra damage is going to bounce around and hurt things. And considering like how many attacks we're doing, yeah, look, it's a constant hailstorm. Even the meteors have like a 5 or 10% chance of spawning. We see them constantly. And given the size of some of our AoE bonuses, we should probably actually add some AoE things, just because it'll be funny. DPS is constantly jumping up into the thousands as long as there's enough idiots on screen to last. The problem is they die too quickly, so we don't always see, but there's 2500 DPS. And now there's a 15% chance to conjure 8 hailstorms, dealing 16.5 damage each. Those are actually really, really strong themselves, and they've only had 2 upgrades. We already got the next boss already. It felt like just a moment, but it is the middle of the night and I might have lost track of time. Oh, you're the boss. I didn't even see you. Okay, well, Magmus is now also dead. We lost a little bit of health because I was being stupid. We got another gold upgrade. Four times, whatever that is. Frost Nova. Attacks have a 15% chance to conjure a frost bolt that slows enemies and deals damage. It can also trigger a Nova. That's also going to be an AoE, so that's actually really nice. That's just another chance on hit that's going to be constantly going off. 
So we'll try and pay attention to see when that actually goes off or not. I assume it's probably going off a lot already. It's just hard to see amongst it all. Look at this giant mountain of idiots. It's just damage for me. Tons of DPS. We even got the helmet guys coming in. But we can definitely melt them too, especially with the later chain reactions. We can get them all right here. I'm pretty sure I can just hold still and just destroy them all like this. It's just like a force field. Nothing can get close to us. Everything just evaporates when it gets within a couple meters. Do I want to split my initial attack? I probably do, because I'm pretty sure there's just more attacks that go out for even more chain reactions and more damage. I don't know how I've suddenly put myself into this position, but we're actually fine because my damage is that good. Got a lot of different attacks going out that hopefully trigger all sorts of things, and so far they seem to be. I didn't realize how high our combo was getting too. We have a 280-200-300 combo at this point. I guess because our little uh, attack balls are also doing the combo. Well, we're just constantly attacking everything. The combo did reset there for a moment, but it got up to 3, 4, 500 without me even trying. I hear a health bar guy coming in. Would have been nice to see more of those along the way, but we'll take everyone we can get. He's down here with 6,000 HP. He's down to 5,000, 4,000. We're not doing as much damage to him as I would have thought. I mean, he is dead already, which is still pretty quick. 5% attack speed. We could have got so much better. That's still good, but I always want more. Maybe we want some ghosts. Enemies have a 2% chance to convert into a ghost upon death for 5 seconds. That is an AoE, so they should be big. We're gonna have big ghosts. This game's all just a giant chain reaction. That's what I've come to realize. It's definitely starting to get a little more intense. They're starting to throw all sorts of different things at me. And it's not working because we're just laughing it off with our incredible chain damage. Look at all the enemies coming in now, but they're also weak. They're just little basic guys, so they're gonna <laughs> absolutely chain reaction to death. It pretty much just evaporated them all. They're like dust in the wind. They just disappeared. Now they're starting to pile up a little bit, but the more they do, the more they chain react anyway. Let's increase our damage by another 25%. That puts our base shot up to uh, about 11. That's actually a really big increase, and that's going to help. Because now we can hopefully one-shot a little bit more. And the uh, chain reaction will certainly one-shot things. And we already got the boss. Didn't expect that to be so quick. Alright, well, he's dropping quick. He just fires red balls at me once in a while that are fairly easy to dodge. So as long as I'm not being completely stupid, he'll explode like a balloon. This could be another good one. Two times that thing. We launch saucers that deal 15 damage. It's like a protective blade that circles around me. And I'll certainly take that. No problem at all. The idiots are going to be a little bit stronger again. I can definitely feel the extra toughness in them. They're still going to melt, but we can tell they're surviving for just that little second longer. So they literally survive for like a nanosecond, but they do get that nanosecond of freedom. And they're all very bunched up now because it's a very small island, but that works for me because then they'll just chain react big time. The big guys there are a little bit tougher. They're able to survive for just a second longer. We got a health bar guy showing up though. That's actually really good news for us. We'll get a free upgrade. I did get hit there for 0.2 damage. Uh, this is a little health bar guy just kind of hanging out over here. Not really sure what he does, so we'll give him a fair bit of space. Uh, we got two health bars. The octopus one is actually really annoying, so we're going to try and keep our distance. Not sure what happened there. There was a giant chain reaction that just murdered everything. Each critical strike has a 20% chance of causing up to two slashes, dealing extra damage again. So if that can chain off our uh, chain reaction, that would be huge damage by the end of its chain. It's going to be hard to physically see that happening at this point, but if it does, things will die. Okay, that was a bad spot. That's fine. This guy's almost dead. We'll get our first upgrade. Two times that one. I think that's Sonic Howl. Release a medium ultrasonic wave every 0.5 seconds, dealing 5 damage. That'll just help keep me slightly alive. Kind of like a force field. Won't do a ton of damage to enemies at this point, but we'll get the weak ones and maybe just kill them before they touch me. Octopus is dead. I think we got 3 time hailstones. Attacks have a 25% chance to conjure a hailstorm of 15 of them, dealing 27 damage each. Each storm has a 40% chance to release 2 huge hailstones. That's a kind of upgrade we need right now because we're going to need a little bit of extra damage going out because enemies are just out of sheer numbers are getting close to me again. But we're going to be able to look at all the hailstones everywhere and they create mines on the ground too so that's hilarious. Complete chain reactions non-stop. Oh there's little HP on the ground I might actually be able to get to this without uh, taking damage. Perfect. I haven't been keeping an eye on the DPS but I bet it's been getting up there at times. Uh, Hailstorm has turned into a gold upgrade. Uh, I think at this point it's not really worth doing it considering our other option. It would just add 8 damage per storm. We're going to increase our attack speed by another 15%. Uh, each attack has a 15% chance to add a stack of frenzy, which means more attack speed. So our attack speed's going to stack on itself. So we're basically going to be a minigun, like firing nukes at this point. And I kind of like the sound of that, and it's very satisfying to watch these explosions happening. 
I'm just a force field of death. Uh, I just gotta not let idiots lob red balls onto me. If I can avoid that one simple thing, we'll be in good shape. I forgot about the frenzy thing we can have happen. Whoops, I had to walk through that because I got scared of these guys. But we got a uh, health bar guy. Wow, he's quick. He's really quick. Luckily, he's got to walk through a ton of damage to get to me. So he's about dead. And for our trouble, we get 1 times 10 AoE radius, which fine. I don't really know what we have for AoE right now, but probably a lot of different stuff. I don't know what's doing the most damage at this point. Hailstorms are probably actually up there. Uh, the chain reaction is I want that HP, but it's going to be hard to see. I can't see the enemies anymore. Increase the damage of all AoE by 15%? Yeah, might as well. I don't know what AoE we have anymore, but I assume it's a lot of it, and 15% at this point's got to be a lot. Our base damage is up to 12, which isn't that impressive, but the uh, chain reaction that comes out of it sure gets there. I'm kind of in a bad spot. We got a health bar idea coming in. I'm trying to weasel out the top. If I can just clear a little bit of space. Yep, that's better. Now, where's our health bar? Oh, he's down there to the left. Uh, Zigrid is also sp uh, spawning in, but we're able to kill whatever this thing is very quick. We're going to get 2 times 10% AoE radius again. Could you imagine if we had like 60% damage for each of those instead? Our damage would be bananas right now. It's already bananas. It'd be even more so. Like, this is the boss, and he's already dead. Let me guess, AoE radius? 3 times 15% AoE radius. We have enormous AoE. I'm going to start picking some AoE things just to try and take advantage of that. Yeah, our AoE multiplier at this point is 300%. But that's why my pulse wave thing around me is going off like that. That's actually my, like, it hurts enemies. It's not a ton of damage, but it's so big that it will actually add a lot of DPS. Probably actually going to need a little bit of movement speed at this point, and maybe a bit of armor. Oh, we're getting big helmet guys now. They're so much tougher. We gotta protect that very big brain of theirs. Wouldn't want anything to happen to it. Those hailstorms are doing a ton of damage also. Look at all these red spider idiots over here. They stand no chance at all. They're very brittle. Okay, starting to take a little bit of damage just because I'm constantly getting bombarded by red things falling from the sky. So I really, really need to take out the spider things. I think there's also a magna right here if I saw that correctly. I'm trying to pick that up so I can suck up all this experience and finally get a level up. But it's a little bit hard to get in there. Okay, we're now going to have a 25% chance to spawn 5 lightnings, dealing that much damage on impact. They also have a 50% chance to spawn a lightning strike uh, when they hit things too. And we got some weak idiots. This will be a nice little boost for us because they'll definitely die to our chain reactions. Oh, found the magnet finally. I think I pretty much picked up all the experience by then anyway. Okay, we got helmet wearing leg guys. They're very quick, so I gotta run in circles, otherwise they will get to me. Mm, these guys are actually exploding and spreading like that, doing the multiplying thing. It's really hard to, like, they push into you like popcorn before you get a chance to do anything about it. I'm gonna try and trap them down here, like bottleneck them. This might actually be a really bad idea. Because if they bottleneck, they can't popcorn that well. And if they can't popcorn that well, it's hard for them to get to me. This might be a good little choke point, but it also might not be. I'm also getting bombarded from the sky constantly. That is a good choke point, though. That really would work. I just had to move out of the way of the red balls. Uh, we're at six. These guys have helmets now. That's going to be tough to deal with. Okay, luckily they're very slow and not that bright. Uh, and saying that, I did have to tank my way through them, taking massive damage. That guy's got 17,000 HP. Oh, wow, he's quick. Okay, he's going to be a problem. Okay, we need to slip through this gap and go find some HP. There's two health bar guys, which is actually uh, nice. Okay, I need that. Magnet power. We didn't level up. I was hoping that would absorb some health, but I don't even know if it can, to be honest. All right, idiots, we're going for a walk. I can't keep you at bay anymore. Oh, there is a bit of health. Oh, there's no way I'm getting to that, though. Okay, we are going to probably make our final stand over here. Everyone come toward me. Yep, that's it. Good idiots. Wow, they're so strong now. And I think we're doomed. But we took 40,000 of them with us. 